honorable sisters, brothers, and friends, service. The celebration of this Mass, Divine Miracle Number 10, Christ Heals a Centurion Servant. Reference the Apostle Luke, chapter 7, verse 1. Service. Begin by honoring St. Mary by singing Ave Maria. Ave Maria. And by praying to God that we are worthy of communing with God in Christ. Pray in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Creator Almighty, Creator of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in the Incarnation. Jesus began his adult ministry for divine miracle number one. He transformed the water into wine. Jesus suffered crimes due to the Sanhedrin the scribes, Pharisees, and Jewish mob that shouted to crucify him. The killing of an innocent man is murder. However, by the divine power of God, Jesus Christ was resurrected. The, measure, the message of resurrection, proof of eternal paradise. I believe in the universal pure Christian faith the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, and the resurrection of the body and soul with God in paradise. The Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou for being the mother of Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of Jesus, we honor and pray to you now and at the hour of our death. The prayer of contrition. God, if I have sinned, I pray for forgiveness. Now we commune with God and Christ in the belief of their divinity. For Christ's commandment, we bless a little bread. And we then say what Christ said. This is my body. Uh, what is Christ really telling us? That he is using bread considered the staff of life symbolically because when you rise into paradise as Christ did on the ascension. You will, you will ascend body and soul. Now, some may wonder, how can that be? If especially in war, you can't even find oh, some of the body parts. you have to realize that the power of God is that of eternal divine power. And as Christ said, it's not for us to understand and certainly to try to be like him. Because when the apostle asked him, can I be like you? And he said, you don't know what you ask. Meaning that in order to be divine, you have to be in paradise with God and Christ. Then you have divinity. And the only way you get that is to be with God and Christ. There is no connection between you, earth. Uh, you know, he said, well, at that time they said kingdom. Meaning this place. There's nothing material that is as far as divinity. You're, you are commanded to believe by God and Christ. 
uh, scientists, biologists, who say they have proof we came from uh, whatever. How did this whatever get here? Do you see? That is a deep theological question. But as Christ said, it's not for us to be like him. We can't. There's, he says you don't know what you're asking. What you have to do is believe. When you obtain divinity, then you will uh, be with God and Christ, have divine life eternally. Now, uh, then Christ took a cup of wine, or what you can have or can drink, and blessed the wine. And said, this is my blood of the new and eternal covenant. Now notice he said, eternal covenant. Now what did Christ really telling us? Symbolically, red wine is like the blood in your system that sustains your earth life. In paradise, you will have eternal spirit that will sustain you eternally. Now, just before we commune with God in Christ, I was taught you say a humble prayer or a few words. And I select that of the centurion, and that is the divine miracle we are celebrating today. Because the centurion said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to, you know, really consider me. And Christ then marveled and said, this man has good faith, worthy faith. I say the same thing when I use positive words. Lord, I pray I am worthy. So, then we say, in the belief, and Christ said, do this in memory of me. Now, what did he mean in memory? In belief of the divinity of God and Christ. In the belief of God and Christ. After communion, we have a moment of silence to honor and pray for family, relatives, and friends. Now, especially with a choir, you would sing a hymn a religious song. I pray the Lord's Prayer and it has been set to music so therefore I sing the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in paradise hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in paradise. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of any sin. And may we not be led into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the paradise and the power and the glory forever. The 
Well, we have essentially completed our obligatory communing with God and Christ. And have a moment of announcements. If you are sure you are the best, you're honest, moral, good character, etc., don't let second raters try to degrade you. You practice safety and you protect yourself from whoism. <laughs>